The end of 2023 is quickly approaching. So what can we expect from the cattle markets for the rest of this year? Joining us now to talk about the fall outlook is Terrell Platt with Cattle Facts. Terrell, we've seen a rebound in these cattle prices. What's been driving this market this year? The biggest shift we've seen so far in 2023 has really been on the supply side, where we've come off of several years of record large production, mm -hmm. but here in 2023, we're on track for a 5% decline, which translates to over a billion pound drop in beef production this year. At the same time, uh, we've been met with historically strong demand, which mm -hmm. supports higher prices for beef and cattle alike. And let's talk about cattle feeders for just a minute. Uh, we, we've seen some strength in the cattle feeding market. What do you anticipate as we look to the fall and towards holiday season? Absolutely. We've been more range bound here over the last several weeks, but seasonally we should start to see Prices start to firm a little bit here in October with more upside potential later into November and December. Our outlook still would call for prices to be the, up in the upper 180s to low 190s here later this fall. Supplies still look fairly manageable okay. and demand should pick up here moving forward. That's good news. Let's talk cow-calf segment. Uh, frankly, these uh, summer video sales have been red hot. Uh, it's been incredible. As folks wean calves and take them to town this fall, uh, what might you expect? You know, typically during this time of the year, I'd expect prices to be just a little bit softer than they are. But as we've come through the balance of September and early October, we actually have calf prices near their annual highs on the year. Basically, it would imply that the risk is fairly limited over the next 30 days as volumes do pick up with the fall run of calves and likely be stronger later in the year as well with more upside potential towards three bucks on a U.S. national average basis. Fantastic news. And let's talk about feed because that's another important part of the equation. We've paid some record high prices for hay over the drought years. Uh, what's your outlook relative to both hay supplies and these grain prices? Right, on the hay side, we have seen prices start to decline just a little bit, uh, more so regionally. We still have some drought forced areas or drought stressed areas that are seeing some challenges that may limit declines there through the balance of the year. Uh, but on the corn side of the equation, it does continue to look really favorable from a cost of gain perspective. Mm -hmm. The market appears fairly comfortable with where stocks to use are gonna come in closer to 14 or 15%. Okay. And we've likely marked out the lower end of the range, but shouldn't be too concerned with corn prices moving abundantly higher here over the next three to six months. So one last question. I mean, what is your recommendation to uh, folks watching at home who are trying to solidify their marketing plans uh, for, the, for the coming year? What might you recommend? You know, I think right now the market's at a price level where it's likely to be a very profitable year for a lot of producers, which is certainly much welcomed after some of the headwinds and challenges we've faced yeah. really through the last decade. I think as we move forward, the big questions that we need to ask as producers or ask as far as our operations go, uh, uh, what's expansion look like for us? What resources do we have there? And how do we continue to capture and protect the equity that's increased in these calves? Uh, when you're looking at a calf that's gonna be worth anywhere from 15 to potentially even $2,000 on a per head basis, that really does increase the amount of risk that we have on the table. Mm -hmm. So it's keeping an eye on what supplies look like, what demand looks like, and what we need to do from a risk management perspective or what we can do to capture those opportunities for profit. Great advice. As always, thank you for the insight you and the Cattlefax team provides. Thanks for having me. For more than five decades, Cattlefax has been providing producers with the tools they need to make profitable decisions. Now, if you're looking for top-notch beef industry research, information, and analysis, then visit the website cattlefax.com.